Hello and welcome. My name is Tierney and I work for TechSoup Canada and this is a short demo of how we use Smartsheet as a project management tool. So, this is a very simple Smartsheet that I've made up as a demo. And what you can see is that it's a lot like a spreadsheet that you're used to using. So if you like to manage your projects in Excel right now, you'll find that you'll probably like Smartsheet, but that it has a few more features that you'll appreciate. So very simply, we can see I've made a few different columns. Um, this one is listing all the tasks that I need to do. And this one I'm marking what the date is due. And there's a little date picker built in so I can choose the date. I also want to check whether it's done or not. Right now I have it set to a red, yellow, green balls, so maybe I'll choose to pick a, a green ball if this task is done and a yellow ball if it's still in progress. However, maybe that's too complicated for me. Maybe I just want a checkbox to show whether it's done or not. So as you can see, I've got a few different built-in options for the column type. I pick checkbox, and now I just need to check whether that task is done or not. The next feature that we want to show is the ability to add attachments and discussions to rows. So as you can see here, every row you have the ability to add, uh, add a discussion. So I'll check the discussion on this row. So far I've just used this to make a note here for myself that I need to get the water from the sink. Uh, I could add a further note. and then save it and it will be permanently attached to this row so anytime I come back to this document I can find my notes right here. I could also attach a file or a link to this row so I could upload a file from my desktop I could attach a link or I could at actually attach one of my Google documents so one of the nice things that we like about Smartsheet is that we currently use Google Apps and Smartsheet does integrate pretty well with Google Apps and one of the ways that it integrates is that it will pull up the entire list of my Google documents so I can pick from them and attach them to, uh, to the Smartsheet. In this case I will simply choose to attach a link so I'll pick our site And there we go. So now, the idea with this is that all my information needed to manage my tasks, all the related documents and links, all my notes, whether it's done or not, and any other information I need, is all stored in one place. Now, this is very nice for managing by myself, but it's pretty much looking like a fancy checklist. So, let's, uh, let's build in some collaboration. So what I can do down here is I can share the smart sheet with some of my coworkers. So I'm going to share this with my friend Test. There we go, and I'm going to make them so they are an editor. So maybe I need to go on vacation and Test needs to take over my task of watering the flowers and cleaning my desk. Um, since I've shared it with them, they have the same permissions to come in here, edit any of the stuff, they can mark it if it's done or not. So, um, pretty nice so far. Um, what is this useful for in practice? So I'll show you a few different examples. Um, this is actually a template that we use for planning our webinars at TechSoup. So there's a whole bunch of different tasks associated with doing a webinar. Um, we have listed them all here. As you can see, it's much more in depth. And we're able to be clear on who this is assigned to. We have different roles. We have the presenter role. We also have a logistics person that helps with uh, logistics behind the scenes. And then we can check off whether they're done or not. So this is a way for us to collaborate as a team when we're putting together a webinar and make sure everything's done. Now, for a more advanced project management, uh, you might want to use some of Smartsheet's other features. So this is an example of a spreadsheet we made uh, for a project we were working on to transition customer service. So, as always, we've listed the tasks here, but we have, this looks more like if you're used to Microsoft Project, some of the features that you'd see. So how long is the task going to take? What are the start and finish dates? What are the dependencies? Uh, who it's assigned to, which is a uh, drop-down list, as an example of that. 
and uh, what's the status, what's the percentage complete, and you could certainly customize this. So if you provide it with all this information, it can actually turn it into a Gantt chart. So I'll just go to Gantt for you right now. Now if we see over here, this is, uh, your f if you're familiar with the Gantt chart format, you can see right here, all your dependencies are being shown, all your timelines are being shown. There's actually a third view of the Smartsheet, and that's in the calendar view. So if I click over here, we can see all of our tasks that need to be done as a calendar. I can flip through the months to see where there's more tasks. And if you don't want to come to Smartsheets to view this, you can actually link it in with your Google Calendar. Again, I mentioned the Google Apps integration, and this is another example. So you could basically turn this into a calendar that will show up in your Google Calendar, and it will be synced with what's in your Smartsheet. So that's really nice if you use Google Calendar. If you don't, there is option also the option to publish as uh, an iCal. So you can... Um, integrate this with Apple, Outlook, or another calendar. So these are some of the main features of Smartsheets. There's different ways to use it as a project management tool. But the main thing we find is the fact that it's very flexible and open. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of training to use because all you need to be able to do is know how to use a spreadsheet. However, because it's so flexible, it's totally up to you to know how to use it, and you need to experiment with it and find out what makes most sense for your organization.